Welcome to the numerology and the astrology for February 13th, 2021. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 11. The number 11 asks us to transcend our limitations and reach towards our highest self. We can't allow this world to collapse us into our lowest self or seek that which lifts, lifts us out of the density and into the higher places of awakened consciousness. Today is a day that causes us to resist the karmic patterns of our habitual self and pull towards doing what is right, good, and that which inspires others. Sometimes it's a constant battle between how this world wants us to be our worst self and that whisper of the higher part that wants to do the right thing and lift us out of the quagmire of karma. The number 11 is a number of rebellion and often to break out of the karmic suffering, a soul needs to move from that place that decides that the established norm is just not good enough for them. Internal and sometimes external acts of rebellion can be required to manifest change and free the soul from the constraints of karma, fear, and external pressures. Today is a day that when you can reclaim parts that have new and unique ideas, do something different. Do that thing that you have wanted to do, preferably something that allows you to smile, feel free, and gives you a chance to explore those things that your soul wanted to accomplish before this life is over. All of us are running out of time. Some of us are doing that more rapidly than others, but none of us know how much time we have left in this world. It is essential to go towards those things that we will remember fondly and give our spirit wings when it is our time to go. The astrology today. The moon is in sensitive Pisces, pushing us to be more creative and to look past the obvious. Those things that others hold deep inside are essential to notice and become aware of. Hidden discomfort is often easy to see and that feeling gives you insight into the deeper workings of a soul. Saturday has Mars making a minor harmony to Neptune, which is excellent for a little fantasy romance. Perfect for that sweet relationship moment as Mercury aligns with Venus. You will feel inspired and there is a creative inspiration motivating you in fun ways. Listen to your intuition and know that having a balance between your intellect and intuition will always give better outcomes over time. Anger seems to soften and there is more of a cooperative environment over time. Use compassion as the means of communicating today as many need to figure out how to express their intentions in a way that is better received. Not everyone is great at communicating deep personal things. You have to give them time and space to figure out how to best do that in their own way. Today, try new healing modalities and use forgiveness as your primary tools of engagement. The moon will hook into a Mars-Neptune pattern, bringing more emotions into play once again. <laughs> it is a great energy to become inspired to dance, move, be artistic, and express your deepest self. My quote for today. None of us know how much time we have left in this world. It is essential to go towards those things that we remember fondly and that gives our spirit wings when it is our time to go. And my blog for today. In reflection, this trip to Sacramento was a completion of an era, <laughs> one that brings a smile to my face and tears to my eyes. I have many fond memories of my Uncle Phil and Jim such as the trips to Colorado backpacking where Philip made it about two miles up the trail and decided that this was not entirely his idea of fun. <laughs> he turned around and said that he would get a condo and have spaghetti and meatballs ready when we came to our senses and stop this insane thing called backpacking. And he was true to his word. Once we came off the trail, we found him and he was in a fabulous condo in Snowmass with food ready to go. On many levels, Phil lived a charmed life. I think that what was so difficult for him in, his, in these later years was that his health never really fully recovered, and he was unable to do those things that gave him joy. Then when Jim died, all that reason for being here just seemed to evaporate, and the universe allowed him to move on to that next experience that all of us will choose at some point. What can you say about, what you can say about Phil was that he was his own person, a unique, eccentric person with a strong will and a great sense of humor. 
as we are leaving his town this townhouse clean and perfect it's only taken us three weeks um you know it it saddens me but it actually saddened every neighbor that we talked to and they were shocked that they were both gone they made an impression they put smiles on the faces of others they made a difference in the world and this point this world will miss their presence i will see you both again goodbye phil and jim i miss you already thanks for the laughs thanks for the memories thank you for the many kindnesses you offered may your hearts be light and your spirits fly free once again thanks everyone